All right, we're here at the Bethlehem football coach Steve Johnson, and the Royals are coming off another uh, big time performance, especially by the defense with another shutout over Carlton. Um, this time they took it to another level, though, with two touchdowns of their own, almost a third even. Yeah, they're, they're playing really fast. They've got confidence. We talk all the time about, you know, when you understand your, your assignment and also how it relates to the, the entire scheme. Uh, you can really go and you know we've got some great athletes in there but they're playing well our coaches have uh, done a great job with the teaching piece and they give the guys confidence and and they've taken it again like you said bees to another level and, and they're just you know dawson brown's a star and and kilgore and all these guys but boy together they're even more and, and it's it's really been fun yeah. so jaron rosti freshman quarterback put together another pair of highlight runs and actually ran for <laughs> For seven touchdowns here over the last two games um, against Carlton, he had two runs, one that really showcased his power, one that really showed off his speed. Uh, why is it that the dimension of having a quarterback like that that can run, why is that so important to your offense? Well, you know, that I think that's one of the things is, is you talk to football coaches, especially defensive guys, while we're on that is when a quarterback can run, it adds another gap, and, and so there's another – you know, the fit-ups that, that the defense has to have, it, they don't take into account a quarterback that can run. And um, and he, so we have some designed runs, and sometimes Darren takes off. But the two that you're talking about, he they were designed calls, and we blocked them pretty well. The first one, he just ran some people over, and, and he was just flying, and he, his toughness, and he gets a, he's got a great feel of the game. And so he just goes and goes, and it, and it really becomes a... Um, just another weapon with within our other weapons, you know, because Gibbs is so strong, and uh, and Gideon and Kunko and our receivers, and then all of a sudden now you got this big load coming. Right. And again, his second touchdown, he could he was pulling away from everybody, and he, you know, he's got a six two, two hundred thirty pound guy that can run. It's it's kind of daunting. Yeah, for sure. So I've heard you say several times, both to your team and to some other people, that you really love the way that this team practices. Uh, what is it specifically that makes you say that? Well, I, I think part of the, um, the enthusiasm is they go to practice, they're serious about it, and they, they, they care about what we're doing. Uh, we talk about being a craftsman in the, mid, in the midst of learning, like, you know, the opponent and, and some of the things they're doing. We're trying to care for our own our own schemes and how do I fit into that and then build myself up into that and give it away to my teammates for free and what happens is the coordination of that you kind of just see things work and so it, it adds to the enthusiasm and the joy and the guys love each other and they love practice and that, that's a weird deal you know I mean right. football practice hurts but they still love doing it and you know part of it's fun that they're having together and, and part of it's they care about each other. Yeah. All right, so it's homecoming week now at Bethel, and it's Johnny week. Uh, so I know in your 30 years here, there's been a lot of memorable games with memorable games with St. John's. Um, but when I say epic Bethel St. John's game, what comes to your mind? Uh, probably first 3 where uh, Scotty Kirkup was uh, injured on the lat. We took the lead late. There's a huge game. It was Coach Gallardi's 409th, and uh, St. John's went on to win a national title that year. We lost the game in the last few seconds. But it was an incredible battle and uh, just a great game. Uh, 03, I, I think the one here where there's probably 8,000, 9,000 people in a you know 3,000 seat auditorium um, in uh, 07, where we uh, Ben Wetzel kind of ran over a couple people to 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 win that one, and, and we won the we won the conference that day against St. John's, and the same thing happened in 13, and you know those are big wins, and but but we just had some games with those guys that have been so competitive and you know for about our first 20 years in the league we we didn't beat them and so they can they can kind of point at that but uh since uh 98 99 um it's been a great battle and i think they feel the same way it's, yeah. it's a lot of respect for one another yeah so with this year's saint john's team uh, like bethel they posted two straight shutouts as well um they put up a lot of big numbers on offense kind of led by their quarterback um, so what's it going to take this Saturday to, to come out on top? Well, you think about this, uh, you know, it's a, it's a championship type game and uh, it's a privilege to play in those and uh, but you have to do some things. You have to be in that, you know, in the mix to, to do that. And so um, one thing for St. John's, they haven't, we've had a little tougher schedule than them. And, and so 
they're gonna they're gonna face some some adversity that way, and so are we. And so, you know, both teams are, are gonna just get ready for this. And uh, I th I think for the for the kids for the players, they're they're you know the they're they're heightened awareness, and, and they're gonna they're gonna get after. But I, I think turnovers are gonna be huge. I think you you know you gotta execute, you gotta stay in the fight. All things we talk about all the time. We have a deal where we talk about nothing's as good or bad as it seems. So if something happens early and it's bad, you know, we've had some tough stuff happen to us and, you know, we, you don't get deterred and nervous and all that. You just keep going. If something good happens, you know, this game, this game isn't over. You know, we got 60 minutes to give one another. Yeah. yeah so, I, I mean, I think we're all looking forward to Saturday, hopefully another, another epic Buffalo Johnny game. Um, but good luck on Saturday. Yeah, it ought to be a great one. We got homecoming. We got, I think the, the stands will be full, you know, and the Johnny's travel. And so it's going to be, yeah. I think it's going to be a blast. Can't wait. Yeah. All right.